the newspaper, and uh, I believe uh, Bill Clinton was at that meeting. Absolutely, and again, he's given countless speeches along these lines. I want to play the video of We Are Change screaming at him as he entered uh, the hotel to meet with your president. Here's that video. Let's go back to a year ago. We are change confronting uh, Jay Rockefeller. This is the senator who says we'd be better off never inventing the Internet, trying to pass legislation to control it uh, and to restrict it. I mean, this guy is pure New World Order. Uh, we ready with that clip? Okay, here it is. Senator Rockefeller? Yes. I'd like to know if you're aware that we, the American people, are aware of the agenda of the Council on Foreign Relations and the Bilderberg Group. And if you could comment on that, please, because very concerning to a lot of us. You know, I have 37 people lined up uh, right outside Senator Schumer's office, all of them wanting to answer precisely that question. Well, could you just take a brief moment and no. let us... No, because we're not talking. We're talking about something we're looking at. Well, something that's so important, it sort of transcends everything else that we're talking about, sir. Could you comment on that, please? No. I'd like to know about the Bilderberg Group. Get yourself some press credentials. Well, we have them here. About the Bilderberg Group, sir? Well, that's not part of our discussion. When can we discuss that with you, sir? Can. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and this, this is for the senator. This is the scientific proof of the nanothermite that's been found in the samples of the World Trade Center deaths by scientists from around the world. Basically, conclusive proof that there's an Article 3, Section 3 treasonous cover up going on about 9 11, sir. So. We'd love to get your opinion on that, too, Wait, sir. Wait, what did you say? Excuse me, folks. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank well, you. Two families, the Rockefellers and the Osborns. And then it cuts to a clip about their family, and then it goes into Luke Radowski really hitting him hard. Let, let's continue rolling this. Are particularly significant. John D. Rockefeller Sr. contributed a large amount of money to both the Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory in the early 1900s, which housed the eugenics records office from 1910 to 1944. Rockefeller influence also spread overseas to Germany, where the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Psychiatry and the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Eugenics, Anthropology, and Human Heredity resided. Much of the money used to run these facilities came directly from Rockefeller. These institutes became centers for Nazi eugenics programs during the reign of Adolf Hitler. That's the problem, Ms. Christian. The eugenics Hitler looked up to the eugenics that your family has started. Okay, sir. I, I think it's time for me to really start moving quickly. Yeah, yeah. You could just address some of these things if we're wrong, sir. Please just tell no, us. No, no. Go, yeah. go find somebody else to talk. Well, your family Thank did you. start the mathematical eugenics movement that Hitler is looking up to. And you don't want to talk about the Bilderberg group? Uh -huh. You can't want to talk about them. You don't want to talk about them. They want to get them to the eugenics as well. The truth is coming out, and there's a lot of us that are aware of it. I'm sure you know some members, sir, if you're not a member yourself. President Obama is Director of National Intelligence. Admiral Blair, who I greatly respect, have labeled cybersecurity perpetrated through the Internet as the number one national hazard of attack on the homeland in West Virginia, uh, on, in West Virginia, America, or anywhere else. So, I mean, it really, it really almost makes you ask the question, would it have been better if we never invented the Internet? There you go. So that was interspersed with documentaries and uh, him being confronted. And uh, he tells Luke, you ought to run for Congress. you got a lot of guts. You use another word. But here it is, Israel primed for war on Iran. That's Reuters, so they're openly getting ready for it. And here you talk to one of the Russian advisors who was at the Trilateral Commission 
uh, meeting, Alan Akean with We Are Change Ireland. And he goes, yeah, we got to get rid of Iran. We got to go up against him. We got to have a world government. I mean, they got to mop up any sovereign country that's left. And I'm not saying Iran's good, folks. The point is the globalists are a lot worse. Uh, other points you guys want to make about you know what's happening or uh, you know what you guys did in concert together to expose the Trilateral Commission in Dublin. Notice they were meeting right before the implosion of the euro. Uh, well, we had uh, uh, Peter Sutherland uh, was also there, and he went on uh, he went on TV and radio uh, the day after and said that Ireland had to uh, implement more austerity measures. So he, he obviously got his orders. And for those that don't know who Sutherland is, tell them. Well, he's an he's ex-Goldman Sachs um, head. Yeah. And then, he, so, um, and then he goes on your news and tells you, you've got to give us all your money. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, uh, Gordon Brown resigns, uh, as he's been told to do. And uh, we have a, another puppet government in Britain. By the way, we ought to cue up that Love Police video. That's another kind of We Are Change group uh, where they're screaming and yelling um, at, uh, and we can play it. He, I mean, he doesn't cuss. Uh, Hick. Yeah, yeah. tell folks about the Love Police. Uh, well, I actually met Charlie last year in uh, Bristol. Um, they, they simply go out uh, in a very um, peaceful and amicable, amicable way with their cameras, bullhorns, and they just challenge these people wherever they find them. And uh, that, that's, that's what we all need to do. We all need to challenge these people because they're not immune from us. Yeah, so the new pitchfork... And there's too few of them, and we should be at them at every opportunity. The new pitchfork is a video camera because then other people see the globalists being confronted and the public begins to realize that both political parties, no matter what major country it is, are controlled, and that's how the ruling class that's totally corrupt and anti-freedom stays in power. Uh, any other comments from you, uh, Alan Keehan? Uh, that, uh, with regards to the video you were saying about Charlie Veach over in, in London, they, they tried to, to hide that when that, that was broadcast live, and then Charlie approached him, he went right up to right beside the BBC cameras, and he was shouting at these guys, and he, he said an awful lot of stuff that they wouldn't want to get out, and the whole audio that was going out live started to break up within moments of him started talking, and then they, they voiced over it with, uh, with uh, a BBC broadcaster, so you couldn't hear anything that, that Charlie and uh, Love Police were actually saying to the to the um, to the politicians. Yeah, there they are at a press conference. It's going out over air, but magically the feed breaks up. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, yeah it's not surprising, really, considering the uh, the media blackout on everything over here. Like it's it's the exact same. I mean, when we when we appro approached the uh, trilateral commission, there was actually a media invite sent around to some of the Irish media, and I mean the Irish media over here they're whitewashed. Um, they there was a couple of them that went in and. They were told that they could only stay for an hour for the Prime Minister's speech and then that they had to leave. And we approached these guys when they were leaving, going, did you get any information on who the Trilateral Commission are or what, what they're doing today or if they've um, or if they have any other agenda and why they're kicking you out, why it's a private meeting. And the guys, they're not real journalists at all. They're just too afraid to go and do anything. So we had to go and do the groundwork for them. We got the, the video and the audio. It's up on our site. It's on wearechange.ie. And it's also up on Fremont Ireland, um, so, and then that's that's going viral on the internet now, and it, it just it shows where the where the new media is actually coming from. Well, that's why they want to shut the internet down. And I've never seen the Love Police get angry; they always are super nice. But uh, the globalists clearly know that he's Scottish, but they say, "Get out of here, American!" as a mind control op, and and and, and he does get a little angry with them. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and play that video and audio as the globalists are confronted everywhere. And as uh, the uh, you know, new leaders of the British government uh, meet the new boss, same as the old boss, fooled again, are confronted on how the whole system's fake. Here it is. Ah, George Osborne, Bullingdon Club, William Haig. Hello, the elites. How are the Zionist elites this morning? Thank you for giving us the illusion of democracy. Do you want the puppet on the left or the puppet on the right? Yes, you guys go slightly crazy when you compromise personal morality for political gain. Hey, how was your time on the Rothschild's yacht? Do you like the Rothschilds more than you like normal people? George Osborne, isn't it great that you have a country of 70 million people where 7% control all the land? Are you related to the Queen, sir? Go home, Yang. Go home, Yang. Oh, some random racism by this gentleman here. Perhaps you'd like to vote for the BNP. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not going to. William Hague, George Osborne. Hey, it must be difficult for Satan all day. Hey, power and money, 
from the nice teeth of Satan. Sorry, I'm not even religious, but you guys are liars and murderers. Total liars and murderers. You should talk about America. I'm not even American, my friend. I'm Scottish, so F you. Even worse, get out to the UK. Perhaps you'd prefer if we join the European Union, you little yes. chill idiot. Third time, the English people still yeah, liars! Hello, liars! Hey, big power and money! Politics! Yeah! Illusion of democracy! Scumbags! Nothing personal. You guys look great on TV.